Welcome to its tomorrow news and you are with Hena Talati. Storm to bring more severe weather tornado threats in United States. Areas in United States pummeled by the last week's deadly tornado outbreak are likely to see more severe weather in the coming days as the cross country storm moves east bringing with it the threat of the long track tornadoes. As of Thursday morning, 27 states and nearly 30 million people were on alert for the heavy snow, strong winds and flooding from the California to Wisconsin. A major storm that battered the west coast will move into the heartland on Friday with a major severe weather outbreak expected. The storm already brought up 30 inches of the snow to the Mammoth Lakes, California in the 24-hour period. The area has been more than 700 inches of snow this season making for its snowiest winter on the record. Some flooding, hail and even mudslides were also reported across California from the Bay Area to Los Angeles County. The storm is forecast to leave California later Thursday and will cross the Rocky Mountains overnight bringing heavy snow to the area. Wind gusts of up to 75 miles per hour from the Arizona to Colorado are also forecast in the next 24 hours. By Friday, the storm is expected to redevelop in the plains and produce a major severe weather outbreak from the Texas to Wisconsin. Some 70 million people are on alert Friday for the risk of severe thunderstorms. Strong, potentially long track tornadoes, large hail and numerous damaging gusts are all possible, the National Weather Service said. The highest threat for the strong long track tornadoes will be near Memphis, Tennessee, while the Iowa, Illinois border is more likely to see damaging winds and large hail. In addition to the tornadoes, Damaging winds and the huge hail could be possible in Des Moines, Iowa, Chicago, Indianapolis, Nashville, Tennessee and Little Rock, Arkansas. Severe weather could reach as far south as Rolling Fork and Silver Springs, Mississippi, which were devastated by the deadly tornado outbreak last week. To the north, snow and ice is concerned for much of the northern plains and upper midwest due to the cold slide of this storm. In the parts of the South Dakota and Western Minnesota, there may be a foot or more of the snowfall. Gusty winds will also reduce visibility, leading to the blizzard potential for the portion of the South Dakota where there is a currently blizzard warnings in effect. Winter alerts are already in effect for the snow potential and subsequent travel impacts. As this storm moves eastward, it is expected to bring two bands of rainfall to the northeast one on the Friday during the day and another early Saturday morning. Some in the northeast may also see 1 to 2 inches of the rain on both Friday and Saturday. Gusty winds may also lead to scattered power outages on Friday and Saturday with the wind alerts currently in effect for more than 30 million people across the country. Cold air will rip along the backside of the system which means wet, heavy, accumulating snow. The biggest concern will be Friday night, where there could be near whiteout conditions in the southwestern Minnesota. The storm will clear out early Saturday. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.